My journey started over a cup of coffee. I'd been looking out at the view towards the mountains for months and had wondered about that tower on the horizon. I thought it was probably a disused windmill, but I hadn't seen other windmills in the area and I decided to drive over to investigate. Finding it wasn't too difficult as it was the highest thing in the area. After half an hour I arrived, but it wasn't a windmill, so I decided to investigate further. The area where I live is around 20 miles north of Madrid, close to the town of Talamanca del Jarama. Talamanca has been occupied since the Iron Age, and it was an important centre during Roman times, thanks to its junction at two Roman roads and a bridge over the river Jarama, which acted to allow tolls to be collected from travellers. To understand what that tower was, we've got to travel back in time to a Spain more than a thousand years ago, where it was a very different place. During the period of the Muslim occupation of Spain, from the capital of the Califati of Córdoba, this area lay on the frontier of the territory of Al-Andalus, between the Moorish south and the Christian north of Spain. Toward the end of the 9th century, the Emir of Córdoba, Mohammed I, ordered the construction of watchtowers to warn of the approach of Christian troops from the north, as part of a defensive line of towers and forts designed to protect Toledo, the northern capital. The watchtower of El Velón is located just outside the village of El Espartal, in the hills above Talamanca. Situated at just over 900 metres of altitude, this tower has been restored and is now protected under the Spanish Cultural Heritage Scheme. The tower stands about 9 metres high and is 6 metres in diameter. The doors of these towers are over 2.5 metres from the ground and were accessed using ladders that would be drawn inside at night or in times of alarm. The location of all of the towers is chosen carefully to favour the defensive position and are built into the natural rock. Sheer drops protect one side with views over the adjacent footpaths. From this vantage point we can see Karakiz and my starting point at the cafe, as well as the valley of the river Jarama. The office towers of the north of Madrid can be seen, over 20 miles away. Madrid Barajas Airport's main northern runways lie due south. Our next destination is the Altaya of Venturada. Three miles away as the crow flies, but about half an hour by road. The Altaya of Venturada is situated next to the main Madrid Bilbao motorway, some two kilometres from the town. This highway follows the path of the ancient route across the mountain pass at Soma Sierra. A modern housing estate has been built next door, and many trees obscure the views to the surrounding countryside and the close by watchtowers. The rocks at the base have been used to provide both a foundation and access for this tower. And here, for the first time, we can see the interior, although this tower has not been restored. Wooden floors were supported by beams built into the walls. To the northeast lies the tower of Arriba de Capas, close to the town of Torre Laguna, four and a half miles away as the crow flies. This tower had a height of around 12 meters, but has only been partially restored.
It overlooks the confluence of two river valleys and the wide agricultural plain below Tarry Laguna. From here we travel a further three and a half miles to our last tower, El Berrueco. The Altaya of El Berrueco is located overlooking the Lake Ataza, which was created by the building of the dam of the same name. This tower has been restored and we can go inside. The tower has two floors, the upper used as an observation level. From this tower we can look back to the tower of Aribatipatas and to El Velon. These towers were part of a system of fortifications which includes castles and forts all along the line of the northern frontier of Al-Andalus. Today only four of these remain along a line which dominated the countryside south of the Guadarrama mountains and gave views over the valleys of the Jarama, Losoya and Henares rivers. Mm -hmm.